Hi, I'm Jesse Thornburg, CEO of Gridfruit. We put unused data to work for energy savings in food stores and power grids. Across the US every evening, power grids today face a huge challenge of spikes in demand that occur in the evenings between 4 and 9 p.m. This is the infamous California duck curve that shows how this uh, causes an extreme in demand as we, millions of us, arrive home from work and turn on our appliances. But that spike is also compounded by commercial refrigeration units in food stores, which are often scheduled to defrost and have their day's biggest spike at the same time. This problem requires that the grids then turn on their most expensive and highest pollution generation assets to meet the added demand. Stores rely on commercial refrigeration with these big spikes because they need fresh foods to remain relevant and competitive against growing e-commerce rivals. The refrigeration, however, is their highest cost after labor and consumes 44 to 62% of each store's electrical energy. Our partner, Oak Ridge National Lab, has found that a fifth of that refrigeration energy is wasted. As I alluded to earlier, these refrigeration units have spikes in demand that occur around three to four times daily, where the demand more than doubles for defrost cycles. And these defrosts are often scheduled by defrost from the manufacturer to occur in that evening window between 4 and 9 p.m. These commercial refrigeration units have multiple components, including a compressor on top of the store, over a mile of circuitous refrigerant lines, and then the cases in the front of the store that we see as shoppers. Now, supermarkets, discount stores, wholesale clubs already collect data on each of these components, uh, but they keep this data siloed, and they don't use any of it except in small chunks of a few days, which they pull in the case of an emergency. The rest of the data is left unused until we, as Gridfruit, come along. We take this data that's often noisy and incomplete, and we process it with artificial intelligence, using our machine learning methods to produce optimal scheduling commands for the refrigeration's compressor and defrost cycles. We use uh, price signals from the grid to inform how we can optimally schedule the refrigeration cycles to meet the grid needs in terms of demand response and also reduce the store's overall energy consumption and demand charges. At the same time, we can pull from the data out of bounds operations to give preventive maintenance recommendations to the store and extend their asset life, thus reducing uh, waste and refrigerant leakage. We are in the middle of a paid pilot with utility Southern California Edison, and we've demonstrated um, that across stores in their network, we can provide 58% power reduction through that evening peak time and 39% reduction through the day, as shown in this worst case scenario before and after our optimization how we re we've reduced those peaks, especially in the 4 to 9 p.m. window. We see that at scale, this will reduce greenhouse gas emissions across the U.S. by 27 billion tons per year and save each store an average of $31,000 per year. Across the entire U U.S., we see this as a total addressable market of $24 billion per year. We do have a number of competitors, including Axiom Exergy and Viking Cold, but they're relying mainly on hardware, bulky, expensive installations that cost tens of thousands of dollars to meet these same uh, needs. And we, using software, a much cheaper and more scalable solution, actually have the flexibility to provide even more benefit and tailored utility services with our software solution. We've had a uh, great fortune to work with Carnegie Mellon University, where both of us co-founders got our PhDs. We have two patents pending with them. And we went through the national NSF i program, uh, met over 150 potential customers. We then got two years of funding from TVA and Oak Ridge National Lab through the Innovation Crossroads program and are now in the middle of our paid utility pilot uh, that we plan to extend with further paid pilots in the coming years. We've also just begun an SBIR phase one project with the Department of Energy and plan to progress to phase two next year. Then we'll scale across the US in the coming four years. Thankful to work with this multidisciplinary team of engineers and designers, and also to have mentors from both business and technology. Thanks to all our partners, and we hope you'll be our next partners and investors. Thank you.